We've moved into recession in New Zealand, but there's one business that's absolutely booming and the virus can't stop it. In fact, the virus increases the business and that is the building of retirement villages. This man changed my mind about where would be a good place to live in retirement. His name is Bruno Bettelheim and the book that got to me was his book A Home for the Heart. I became aware of Bruno Bettelheim when I was studying at Chicago University and there he had a hospital for autistic people, mainly children. He called it a home and hospital and he was a pioneer in the field of working with autistic people. Now it's a huge field. Since his death, much of his work has been discredited because he wasn't altogether honest in how he wrote. But however, some of his ideas have stood the test of time and he is still an important contributor in the field of helping people with autism. This book, A Home for the Heart, really changed my mind in two respects. Now, one respect was what would be a good place to live, where would be a good place to live in old age. And he said, we are building these retirement villages in the wrong places. He said it would be better to put the old people's homes downtown where they can see life going on, not removed where they're only surrounded by other old people and every morning you wonder who died last night, but have the life of the town, the life of the city around you and so that uh, you can see children, you can see young people, you can see people going to work, you can maybe even interact with them. Now that idea has got into my head and it's stuck with me. The second thing I learned from Bettelheim was this, you cannot tell a lie to children and to people who have autism or other forms of mental disability. Can you get that? And he says the reason for this is that children and people with autism, they don't listen to the words, they don't actually connect with them very much, they simply read body language. That's completely different with us. We're impressed by uniforms. In the church, we're impressed by all kinds of different dress-ups. And we feel that a person that looks like this must be important, must be close to God or, or whatever, know a lot about the Bible. With children and with autistic people, they take no notice of these outward appearances and these dress-ups. They just read the body language and they can tell if a person is speaking from the heart or if they are just going through some kind of a script which isn't part of what they really believe. Many times the, the child or the autistic person, the handicapped person, will speak wisdom to us if we'll only listen. So I'll just give you two examples. One is Greta, and she has shaken up the whole world. She is an autistic young person. The other one that I knew of from long ago is Vincent van Gogh. He was clearly in the autism spectrum, but his work has influenced the whole world, not in his lifetime, 
but but sense. And he painted pictures of women peeling potatoes and of the simple life. And now these are the most valuable paintings on the planet. I want to say a word about Pauline's Place, this little program that I'm on at the moment. Is it for real? When you look at Pauline, she shows warmth. Just listening to her and looking at her makes you think, this person really cares. Now, is this a show or is it the real thing? Let me tell you that in my life with Pauline over, well, 40 years now, we're walking on the street or we're in a shop or we're in some other assembly, it's maybe in a park, Ch children will come to her, children we don't know, small children, and they will look at her and uh, want to touch her. If we're in an environment where there is someone who is very, very sad or sick in their mind, they will seek Pauline out. Not because she's gone to them, not because she's talked to them, but they sense of, in her love, compassion, kindness. Now that's a gift. It, it doesn't happen to me, even though I do care about other people. But this is her presence, a kind of an aura, if you like. And this is what she brings through Pauline's place. The halt, the blind, the lame, the crazy, the very young, they're all drawn to Pauline. They see in her something that is well beyond any kind of put on expression. They just feel it. They just feel here is a person who cares and who we can trust. It, it is amazing. It is amazing to me. Bettelheim who had many flaws, we've all got flaws, but he had some wonderful insights. I thank him for his insight that in old age, we need to be part of life and we need children. And I thank him for his insight that people who seem to be off our normal spectrum have an ability to see to the heart of people. And I, just ask that my heart will be open to them and that I might be able to share with them and experience what they bring to me in their extra special understanding of life.